Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Subjective automotive video time. Always a great time for everyone involved. Anyway, I'm Alex from Fitment Industries, Alex at FI on the Grams. And today we're talking about car trends that people kinda, sorta, just maybe could potentially want not alive anymore. And like, if you do this, people probably bag on you. So I'm just gonna say it, good or bad, whatever. Full disclaimer. Just saying, generally people get angry. It's, 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 we're not saying it's us. We're just saying that this is, this is what we've heard. We're entirely different on the, on, uh, we're entirely indifferent on the subjects discussed. So don't get mad, please. Last time we did this, some people in the Plasti Dip community got a little bit upset and that was our bad. We didn't mean to, to poke any bears. And while you're watching my face, would you just mind like looking down, just down there to the red button and just hit it. There's a bell too. If you could knock that sucker out, it'd be neat. Press it if you like car stuff, helps us make more of these. Anyway. Car trends are a fun subject. There's something that while the trend is going on, it is an absolute blast to be a part of. Really, when we think about it, there are, there are, there are challenges, trends, there are seasons of things that come and go, and they're fun to be a part of. But then when you look back on them, because Facebook reminds you of all the silly stuff you posted eight years ago through memories, you just look at the screen and you think to yourself, wow, that was, that was a little questionable. Car trends are no different. And unfortunately, there are some that probably would believe you just walk into a fire and never come out. And here's the list from the community on what people think should just maybe go away. Number one, apparently chassis mount wings as a first modification on a car. There's no mistake that chassis mount wings have a place and life in the scene. But when it's the first mod you do to a stock vehicle with no coilovers or anything like that, people have a tendency to get pretty feisty about it. Number two, fake performance badges. I mean, I guess I'm not entirely sure what we would like to discuss on that subject. However, I feel like we can all agree on that one. There was another trend going along for quite a while. It was removing parts or pieces of your cars for the look, like removing fenders just to roll around with the wheel exposed or just not having a hood on your car. People said it looked aggressive or weight reduction or it's, they watched Gels' video talking about like center of gravity and they just figured, why not just take the weight off? And it was kind of a funky trend and it actually had a ton of popularity in the early 2010s where a lot of people were doing it to any of their domestic cars. It's a little bit of a weird one. Another one is tearing off exhaust just to be as loud as humanly possible. Now, I'm not saying there isn't a time and a place to send it, like maybe in a derby car, because why not? However, when someone is just posting up about to enter a meet or maybe just like checking out a cool car parked in the back of Taco John's and then they just proceed to rev it all the way up to like 7K with a non-existent exhaust. People just aren't a huge fan of that. And it was never really a trend, except it was very popular back when naturally aspirated four and six cylinders were extremely common in the scene. Number five, 100% purists without question. Now, when we were told this one, it's not that each type of car doesn't have its pros and cons. I mean, let's be honest, Buick Regals may not get the best rep, but those bench seats are bomb. When someone literally refuses to allow any form of discussion to talk about how another model may have some benefits and they're like, no, 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 no. No, no, brand, my brand, no other brands, just mm. Pierce can be a little bit weird and that's not so much of a trend more than it is just like a thing that you do within the car scene. But if you're a purist and you never allow yourself to look at other models as being you know, some sort of pro and some sort of con, you're probably doing yourself a disservice because the reason that there's so many models that exist out there are because well, there's pros and cons to all of them. Another one that was really popular back in the early 2000s were HIDs in stock housings. Now, if I have to put my sunglasses on at night to be one of those people because the $12 HIDs found on Amazon floating around in somebody's headlight behind me, I'm probably gonna have an aneurysm. Another one specifically from Dakota. Apparently he doesn't like wood floors. I'm sick of it. I've seen it a million times. It was cool for the first 10. Now everybody's got a god kitchen in their back trunk. <laughs> He just would prefer to see something else. Maybe a garden, maybe some grass in the back of your air setup instead of having the fake wood. I am unsure as to what else you would put there, but I'm sure if you ask Dakota politely, he might be able to give you some tips. There's another one out there right now that has become a little bit more like it's on its way out, and that is the carbon fiber vinyl. A lot of people have been picking up used cars and they're coming with carbon fiber vinyl, usually on the hood or the roof or the trunk. And it's especially popular because back in like the early 2010s, that was like a thing that you did. 
a lot of the carbon fiber parts were still extremely expensive and it wasn't until recently that a lot of carbon fiber parts have actually gone down in price because of other companies coming in and selling you kind of sort of similar parts but aren't like name brand and then you got to deal with everything aligning up but that's besides the point people are buying more carbon fiber parts than they were before and the vinyl game has suffered a, a hot minute about that and if you still have carbon fiber wrap that's not necessarily like a bad thing it just has to be done in a tasteful way people that will just conveniently wrap every part of their car in the carbon fiber vinyl to make it look like it's actually carbon fiber that one can get a little bit tricky and usually it doesn't end up looking so well because sun fade and there's a bunch of other things that kind of make it look a little bit funky probably just better off buying carbon fiber parts another one that seems to be going out would be the extremely loud wheels and that's something that's actually pretty interesting to see on our side of the fence is we used to see everybody going to the candy colors the super bright stuff the super flashy stuff even like the the plated chrome and the plated gold and all of that used to be super, super hot. And now it is definitely, most definitely not. It seems like a lot of people are actually going back towards the gunmetal, the black, the solid colors, and preferring a way more brushed look than anything before. And the trend of having everything shiny and chrome besides your OEM chrome pieces seems to be going away as well. Ones that kind of meet on the edge in terms of people either liking or hating, a one that's really developing a love-hate relationship would be wide body cars. Some people think that they just need to go off a cliff and other people absolutely adore them. You see it with RWBs and Liberty Walks and all that sort of stuff where people just love the look of a wide car. Then you have other people that prefer a clean body. But it seems like the separation between those that love it and those that hate it have continued to just kind of spread apart. And it'll be interesting to see if that one is either on its way out or if it plans on staying forever. So what sort of trends do you guys think are on their way out or what's a trend that you uh, really enjoy or maybe don't enjoy? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think about the video. Don't forget to drop a comment and also what you'd like to see us talk about next. I'm Alan from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys later. Peace.